Okay, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. I am uh, driving home on my way from work. I'm um, kind of honestly, I don't want to say dreaded because I, I mean, I opened the app, I pushed the button. I, I know I'm uploading a video right now. I mean, but I honestly wasn't really looking forward to this video. I kind of thought all day about you know it being Tuesday. Tuesday I normally put up my 49er video. 49ers we play the Packers. Um week 12. Niners are five and five. I I don't know what I would have thought the, the the Niners record honestly would have been. I mean did I think we were gonna be seven and three? Did I think we were gonna be eight and two? I think that's probably a reasonable guess. But where I thought we were going to be. I, I went into this season with Super Bowl thoughts, Super Bowl dreams of being like, you know what? In this last, the, uh, of this team, of the Kyle Shanahan, um, you know, era that we've been, I've lost two Super Bowls in this last lifetime of being a football fan. We've lost three Super Bowls. You count that Ravens one. Um, back in the day uh I, I don't know man like the the one good thing that I could think of to hang my hat on as, as a good stat to go into this Niners versus Packers game is that the 49ers this season have never been under 500 we've never had to dig our way out of the hole so we've kind of like one lost one loss one loss one loss the, the whole way down so that means just put it in the books we're gonna beat the Packers right I think the Packers are a good team I think they border on being a great team I don't think they're all the way there um, I, I think that, that Jordan Love is a damn good quarterback that I, I believe that they're really lucky to have him and um, Aaron Rodgers that looks like he left at just the right time last year you know when you write it off to injury but this year a lot of trouble in in, uh, in in Jets land, and then you know, they go out and they get Devonte Adams and the Raiders. <coughs> they make it seem like everything's gonna be all right now, and it's not. So I mean, like, hey, Packers win yet again. I mean, the Brett Favre, he had a good year. I can't remember. I don't think the year with the Jets was great. I know that he came back after that. He had one year with the Vikings that was wonderful and then it, the next year it looked like he just stayed one year too long um you know they were knocking on the door it looked like they had a Super Bowl team there in Minnesota I don't blame him for coming back but he wasn't even able to finish the next year it, it was bad um Niners I I don't even know what I mean the the, the one quote from Kyle Shanahan after the game was that he was upset at himself for not finding a way to put the game away. I don't I'm I'm sick of hearing it. That that's about the only way there is to say it, especially against your division rival Seattle. Some people say, you know, you lose a rivalry game, it is what it is. Um that's garbage. That just makes me hurt in the pit of my stomach I mean I, we, we've said this five times this season Rams game had a lead Seattle game had a lead you know we, there's been games when, that we've won that we've let the team back in the game in the fourth quarter and it's not just time that like we're, we're playing garbage time if they score they score we're just playing prevent defense we're trying our asses off just just trying to see if they get the stops because we we, we 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 need the reps um I, I i don't know i mean brock purdy is is playing really really good football one of the top quarterbacks there is out there um you know Juan jennings i feel bad every time the guy has a career day we can never win the damn game. I'm sick and tired of every time Juan Jennings catches the football and the announcer has to throw out. If the Niners would have won the Super Bowl, he would have been the Super Bowl MVP. I think he knows that. I think we know that. Everybody knows it. 
We fucked up. We lost to the Chiefs. We lost the Super Bowl. Let's go. I mean, Juan Jennings, um, the, the deal that we got him on to stay as a 49er was the seal of a deal. People are now comparing his contract to Brandon Ayuk's contract. I get it. All right, Brandon Ayuk, before he got injured, was not having the best season in the world. If you look at anybody in the history of football who has, you know, held out training camp, held out practice, not played the preseason games, it statistically normally doesn't go well. To the point where, like, when the next season rolls around, they've got a contract, they're going to be in camp and they're going. Because I think everybody knows that, yeah, you have to push your weight around in order to get that deal, unless the team is just itching to give you that money. Um, it, it's just the way football's done. I think every football fan, I think every football coach, every football GM, everybody besides for the players that have to do it, would rather the guys be in camp. That's just the way it is. Next year, I'm sure that Ayuk is going to come out and he's going to prove that he deserves that deal. Because he's going to be doing this work in the off season as soon as he can. He's going to he's going to. Uh, be hitting the camps as, as often as he has to. He's going to be playing the preseason. We're going to get our reps in. The last two preseasons for the 49ers, we didn't have Purdy in the last one. Uh, and uh, we didn't have anybody. The, those preseason games this year were a joke. I mean, until Debo Samuel and uh, Greg Kittle played in the last game, it was like the no stars game. Everybody was out there. Um, you know, just being on the sideline in 2000, it might have been 1999, it was one or the other. The All-Star game came uh, to Atlanta, I was pumped, I wanted to go there. We scored tickets for a baseball card shop that I went to, On Deck Sports Cards, uh, in Lilburn, Georgia, in Gwinnett County. And we went there, I thought it was going to be the best moment of my life. And it was... It was, it, was, it was bad. I thought I was going to see all these guys that I had grown up my whole life. Uh, I believe that uh, Clemens and Piazza had just gotten in a fight right before the All-Star game. They didn't show up. Um, Mark McGuire was hurt, this, that, or the other. And it just was like this long list of guys that you thought was going to be there weren't there. And that was the Niners preseason. <laughs> I, I feel bad for anybody that goes to those games. <laughs> that, that travel to go to that games, that spend money on those games. Uh, that's a, it's just a money pit for owners. And uh, I understand it. I mean, you got to pay those deals. But uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough game. We haven't talked about it really that much. Like I said, Packers, Packers are a good team. Packers are on that borderline to be a great team. Um, the Niners just got to go out there. I believe we have to hit them where it hurts. We gotta find a way to use Jordan Mason as well as Christian McCaffrey. I think the less reps you put on Christian McCaffrey right now, like do not like break glass, emergency mode, just use him, use him, use him to the point like, hey, if we go on a little bit of a run, we're one game out of the playoffs. I think the uh, Cardinals, I, I think, have six wins, we have five wins. That's doable, that's catchable. We can still win this division no matter how bad we are. I remember one year, it was the year that the Seahawks came for real and Marshawn Lynch did that huge run against the Saints and they upset him in the playoffs. There was like, the, the, the rules are the rules. It is what it is. Every division gets to have somebody in there. But the Seahawks won the division with a losing record and they got into the playoffs and everybody was throwing their arms up in the air. As soon as that run happened, everybody quickly forgot about it and just kind of felt bad for the Saints right, right and beat on a bad day where they probably would have won that game nine out of ten times. But I mean, like, you, you, you can win the division and have a bad record and get in there. Niners, I don't know, I, I don't care. If we find a way, you know, Nick Bosa, his, his hip is hurting right now. Uh, we get him back uh, ready to go. Seems like Kittle has been up and down almost all season. Um, we get Debo to the point where he's at close to 100%. We can beat anybody. We got Fred Warner. We got one hell of a defense. We just got to 
put it together all in the same day. One thing that I was thinking right before I started this video that I thought was gonna be the opening quote. I don't know how I used to make these videos when the 49ers were fucking bad. I apologize. But when the, when the Niners were winning like four to six games a year, and I still was making pre-game, post-game videos, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how the hell I did it. Um, but um, right now, the team's great on paper, and we're just not winning games. And I don't. I don't know how to solve it. I, I don't know. My biggest fear. My biggest fear is that at the end of the year, um, we we kind of fall back uh, to the way it was. If you remember uh, the end of uh, the uh, uh, McMahon? No oh, shit, what's his name? Oh, this is gonna be bad. I just, I just brain farted his name. But, you know, when the whole Colin Kaepernick thing went, went down, you know, the coach wanted more room. Uh, our GM didn't want to give it to him because then it felt like they wouldn't need him anymore. Uh, everybody wanted to make more decisions. That's honestly what I'm kind of fearing right now uh, with um, the 49ers is that everybody's going to come to the table that thinking you know, they have the answer to what they need to, to get out of this. And next thing you know, you know, GM and coach aren't on the same page. One of them leaves and we got Jim Tomzula yet once again. I'm not looking forward to that at all. So um, we got to win. We got we to gotta win and we got to figure out a way to get out of this right now. This up and down 50-50 football sucks. We're a better team than this. That's the only way it is on Sunday. I'm going to be rooting Mike. I know you'll be watching your Packers out there, so you'll be rooting for them, but I hope we hand you a big fat L. That's that's just about the only way. Little Alex, uh, that guy's a good friend. I mean, he could have really, you know, gone out there, just gone full shack mode, and tell me how my ass tastes, and um, he didn't do it. So um, I'm lucky for that, but I, I don't want to lose to my friends back-to-back -back weeks. Ooh, we got to beat the Packers. That's just about the only way it is to do it. Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, to steal the phrase, emergency press conference coming to you now. This happened last year. It's happening this year. The San Francisco 49ers year goes from worse to worse. Updated video on the video that we made on Tuesday. Kyle Shanahan in his press conference today just announced 0% chance of Brock Purdy starting on Sunday against the Green Bay Packers. In my video, I basically said the Green Bay Packers are a good football team. They're good, they're not great. They're beatable. They, they are a really, really good team. If, if they get the right trip uh, through the playoffs, they're a team that could be a chance to, to you know, go to the Super Bowl. They're gonna need some some uh, some luck, some bends, and some breaks, but let's face it, almost every team that goes there has a chance to do it. Jordan Love is a really, really good quarterback. San Francisco 49ers, as of right now, looks like no George Kittle, no Trent Williams, no Brock Purdy. Fuck! <laughs> We've already got Brandon Ayuk out. Um, so basically, we're going to be having you know, our backup quarterback that I didn't even know was our backup quarterback, Brandon Allen. I remember watching him. I, I was really, really surprised in the first preseason game when he got the start. I basically thought that when the 49ers signed Josh Dobbs, away from the Minnesota Vikings, a guy that beat us with the Arizona Cardinals last year, he was going to be the backup quarterback. And basically the deal was, if this guy has to play, we're already screwed. We just need the best backup that we can that can hopefully luck out a win for us. We're, 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 we're not planning on going to the Super Bowl with our backup quarterback. We're, <laughs> we, we've already, uh, you know, locked away through a season all the way to the NFC Championship game with the backup quarterback and the backup to the backup quarterback. We're not going to have that luck happen to us anytime soon. This game on Sunday is going to be dog shit ugly. There ain't no other way to say it. This is going to be bad. Um, I got nothing against Brandon Allen. You know, uh, very, very honestly, when he was playing those preseason games, he was playing with 
the bottom of the roster. We had no Kyle Huszczyk. We had no Brandon Ayuk, no Debo Samuel, no George Kittle, um, you know, no Juan Jennings. This guy had no starters out there basically with him because the Niners knew that what they were trying to do was put together a team that was going to go on a run and these waste of a preseason games really didn't matter. There was probably a few spots on the San Francisco 49ers that were really figured out by the preseason games. I think we knew our roster was our roster. We had to play the games because the other teams probably needed to, to look at some guys. And, you know, that's just the way it goes. There's times when preseason games honestly really do matter. Um, but when, when you're a deep playoff team that went to the Super Bowl last year, most of the time they're not. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I'm going to watch the game. I always watch the game. We talked about this in the video already. I don't know how I made videos when the Niners won four, five, six games a year and was positive. I remember it was a lot of like, we won the first half of that game, a lot of moral victories, a lot of like, we can get in that locker room and we can you know pump up the guys that need to get pumped up and we can find out who's not going to be there next year. This sucks. I mean, I, I am at a point now where it looks like the Niners are going to fall to five and six. First time under 500 probably in a, in a long time. I, I don't know if we fell under 500 early last year. Um, I do know that we lost those three games. I know at one point, a couple years ago, we had a bad record at the beginning of the season, turned around and we were in the Super Bowl. But um, I don't know, Mike, you're a Green Bay Packer fan. You're probably going to enjoy this a lot more than me. But it's almost like, you know, when I listen to podcasts about the Bears, and the Bears fans saying how mad they were that they lost to the Packers. And one of the one of the things that made them feel worse about the game, they already feel bad. Their, their team lost uh, on the last second block field goal. Um, but they lost to their closest rival, a team that beats them literally all of the time. And... You know, when it comes down to it, the Packers fans, when they're meeting the Bears in the parking lot or on the way out of the stadium, they apologize. They're like, I I'm sorry that we won that game. Don't say you're sorry. You don't mean that. You're not sorry that you won that football game. You're going to secretly be like cheering the second that you don't see me crying in your eyes. Um, I talk a lot of shit all year long. I believed it. I'm not going to say that this is a bad football team because I you, you take this roster and you just call up a Carolina Panther fan and you're like, hey, would you mind if we drop the San Francisco 49ers roster on you right now? They're going to be in heaven. They're going to be like, we're, we're putting it back together. We're set. It's just we're down from last year. We've had bad years along the way. This year just sucks. It is a mural image of the Atlanta Braves. I really thought that we had a chance to win the World Series this year. We lost Acuna kind of early. After Acuna, we lost Strider. Uh, and then it was just, you know, we lost Ozzy. By the end of the year, we had lost um, Austin Riley. Um, we tried to put together a team at the All-Star break, like a lot like we did in 2021. Um, it just wasn't good enough. We lost in the first round of playoffs like normal. But at least we get to hang a wild card banner next year. So, I'm all for it. I'm going to be cheering for them. I'm, I'm the biggest fan that they got. Um, but, uh, man, this sucks. There ain't no other way to put it. Like, this this is bad news. Brandon Allen, I don't hate you. I barely know you. But uh, come Sunday, they flip that coin and they kick it off. I'll be the biggest fan you've got. And um, try and bring us home to San Francisco win. We need it. Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you today. I just got a green light as I press the video or I would bang my head against the steering wheel. Um, today is just one of those days, boys. We're going to have to just eat shit. There ain't no other way to put it. 17 nothing Packers. We're not even close to the half. We got seven minutes left. I don't even want to wait 
until halftime. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to turn this game on and I'm going to watch it until the end. Not just hoping that, you know, we pull off a miracle and we find a way to get back into this. Just because the Niners have been a good team for a while in the NFL. And there's a lot of people out there who cheer for less fortunate teams. I'm a Sacramento Kings fan. I, I watch 75% of their games hoping that something's going to go right. I've been a fan of theirs probably since 1990 when I started caring about basketball. And um, it never happens. It, it never does. We had a little bit of a run in the 2000s, but around 2005, 2006, we made that our test deal. We fired Rick Adelman, honestly, just because we wanted to fire Rick Adelman. And we've never come close since. We always have hope. We always say this is what's going to make a difference. Never does. We really we got a really, really good team now. We got three of the top 30 players in the NBA. And we can't win. But back back, back to uh, talking about uh, the Niners here. Brandon Allen trying his best. They, they had 10 points before we ran our fourth play on offense. How bad is Josh Dobbs with this 49er offense that Brandon Allen is starting this game with his hand in a sling. <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me that they think that this guy is better than Josh Dobbs. Um, I wanted a belief this morning. I woke up. I didn't put my Niner uh, jersey on to go to work because we we're gonna be selling turkeys. More than anything else, I wanted to wear my turkey sweatshirt. Um, everybody asked me why I didn't have my jersey on, why I didn't have my hat on. I told them I felt bad about it, but you never know something could happen. You know, the Niners have got lucky. You know, we started with Trey Lance. We went to Jimmy Garoppolo. We found Brock Purdy. And it all worked out fine for us. You know? I want to say the last time I watched a game that I knew that we had no chance on, it's been a while. But it really, it, it was that NFC Championship game against the Eagles when Purdy got hurt. And then Johnson? No, what was his name? He was a Niners quarterback like five times. The other guy, he got hurt with a concussion to the point where they had to put Purdy in. And we couldn't throw the football. And our defense kept us in that game long enough that there was times when we felt like if, if McCaffrey could break a run out, maybe some magic can happen. But it didn't. Eagles went on to go, uh, I think the Eagles won that Super Bowl. No, they didn't. Eagles lost that Super Bowl. But um, I don't know, man. 17 nothing. Like I said, there's Jets fans out there. There's Bears fans out there. There's, I guess even right now, you can kind of say the Patriots fans, Panthers fans. They put up watching their team. I can go in there and watch mine. All right. 38-10. Fourth quarter. I think there's four minutes left, but this one's done. It's all over with the shouting. Man, uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I had that little bit of a breakdown on my way home uh, from work when I was driving into the neighborhood and just basically said I was going to go in and watch this game, but I already was taking the uh, future as is that the game was done and it was over. I'll tell you the truth. I kind of felt like there was a chance that we would win that game or at least get back into it. I got, I got pretty into it. I mean, we got in there, scored a touchdown right before the half. We were only down 10. Foreseeable part of the third quarter, we were only down 10. It was just like, man, if we can just get one break, complete one pass. Also fell for the Debo Samuel return um, that was brought back to a hold. We go from being on the 10-yard line right in front of the end zone to going all the way back to the 20. I don't know, man. Just might not be our year. I, I faced it with the uh, the Atlanta Braves, my baseball team. Just got hurt and lost to Cunha. And, um, you know, we just fell apart from there. Lost another guy, lost another guy, lost another guy. You know, Purdy's down. Word is on the street is that he should be able to play. You know, we're, we don't really know what's going on with Bosa. 
you know, Kittle's banged up. He's on their injury report. Trent Williams is banged up. He's on the injury report every week. And um, I'm not saying we need to wave the flag and give it up. But I am saying, like, what the hell's going on? Play the Bills. We play the Bears. Play the Rams. We play the Dolphins. I would love to win three of those four games. I don't know why I think the Bills game is unwinnable, and I'm writing that off. But, you know, the Rams, we want to get our win back. The um, It would be awesome to, to, to beat the Dolphins because McDonald be in there, and the uh, former offensive coordinator wouldn't want him to get a, an ups on us, and we don't really know where he's going to be there. If they, they can't finish strong, you know, it might be his last year in uh, in Miami. But, um, I don't know, man. It just sucks. Feels like we got kicked in the dick. Just punched in the gut repeatedly. Um, pretty much woke up this morning thinking that, that uh, this was going to be the uh, foreseeable events of the day. And it was. But, like I said, come halftime, come after the half, I thought we had a chance to get back into that game. And, um... Fumbled the ball. McCaffrey fumbled another ball. Led to a touchdown. Led to a touchdown. Jacobs, three touchdowns on the day. I'm not sure if he got that last one or not. Did they put him at four? Um, Jordan Love played good. Honestly, at times I thought he was beatable. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. But then again... When, you know, I made the video at the beginning of the year talking about Josh Jobs when I thought he was going to be our backup quarterback, basically saying that if Jobs went down, um, you know, if Jobs is going into the game, we're already in trouble as it is. So, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can, we can finish this year strong. Five and six. I think it's the first time we've been under 500. And it sucks. It doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Anybody wants to say anything about the Niners, I'll let you say it. We deserve it. And, um, I don't know, man. Just, we, we were good for so long. It feels like, almost like it's the end of the road. We got we to gotta put together a plan. We got to figure it out. I got to put my tree up. I'm going inside. Hopefully that'll put me in a better mood. I think it's Baltimore versus San Diego tonight. If it's not tonight, it's tomorrow. And I don't know what the other game is. But hopefully put the tree up, get some Christmas stuff up. Better mood. Let's go.